me and I waited like 60 seconds and if he didn't come back then I could go out. Okay. Um, the most difficult one was the night we signed it and we were yes. all taken down into the tunnels and over to Rizzer and that was a very um, a very interesting evening, one that I will never forget. Because that was the day of the conference committee. Yes. And then the, the, the vote. Senate vote. Yes. And then the Capitol filled up as word got out through social media. Yes. Yes. That was and I can remember going down the steps and hearing people scream and, and protesting. And that, but for some reason, Dan Kopanke and I, they couldn't move our cars. So our cars were sitting back here at the Capitol, and they couldn't get them out. So... Um, so the troopers were talking about what they were going to do with us and how they were going to get us out. So they decided to bring us back through the tunnels, up through where the portico is, and put us in a squad and get us out of there. And another one, uh, uh, another person came in, one of these troopers, and I've never seen this either, these great big massive guys, white as a ghost, just white. I'd never seen anything like that. He was so white, and he said to another one, you cannot take a squad through there. They will roll it over. They're taking the doors off the doorknobs. They're going in the windows. He's describing what's going on. So what are they going to do with Dan Kopenke and I? they got to get us out of town somehow. But you heard Exit. the troopers say there's no way you can do that because they will roll the vehicle oh, over. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Absolutely. So they said, we'll just bring a squad up close to the portico. We'll put the two of them in the squad. Right. And another one coming back white as a ghost. You cannot go out there. You cannot bring a squad up. They will roll it. Um, and that our lives, they said, you cannot take them and try to put them even from the portico into a car and unmarked. You know, you can't do that. We've got to figure out something else. And I remember uh, Dan Kopenke grabbing my hand and just squeezing like, oh, Mary, this is... <laughs> but uh, we got out. Mm -hmm. Since 2011, uh, Governor Walker...